You know, James White, like all Trinitarians, teaches that the Trinity was given by divine revelation. But the Bible doesn't teach that, neither does history. History teaches that in the first century, a Jewish Greek philosopher by the name of Philo of Alexandria was the first one to start teaching that God was not alone, but with him was two other persons. At first he called them powers, but as time progressed and throughout his many books, he started teaching that these uh, powers were persons. And he called the, the middle person of the three the I am. So Philo was the first to start teaching that God at once was seen as one, but he could also be seen as three. This was Philo of Alexandria, and this is the truth of where the Trinity came from. In his video, James White teaches that the Trinity was revealed not in the Old Testament and not in the New, but in between. Then later he says that people understood the Trinity from the incarnation of Jesus Christ and the pouring out of the Holy Spirit. So which one is it? Now Rome teaches that the Trinity was revealed at the baptism of Jesus because there was a voice and the Spirit descended in the form of a dove. Other Trinitarians teach other things and so there is why confusion on the revelation of the Trinity, when it came and how it came. Now I couldn't believe my ears when I heard James White saying that the New Testament was soaked in the Trinitarian language because all of the New Testament writers and the Christians, the disciples, they were all Trinitarian. I almost fell off my seat. This is the farthest thing from the truth. And I want to be respectful, but it is a false statement. And someone needs to say, hey, get a grip of yourself. How can you say such a thing when the New Testament teaches, first of all, Jesus, he, he quoted the Shema, that Israel, uh, God is one. He quoted that. And all the disciples followed Jesus, and they were all Jewish monotheists. They were not Trinitarian. This is false. The, the, false. What else can I say? The, the New Testament is not soaked in, in Trinitarian language, but it is uh, full of truth of the gospel and of the one God. And the disciples believed in Jesus as Jesus being what? The manifestation of the one God of the Bible. That's what they really believed. They did not believe in a trinity. Then they did not believe in a co-equal, co, -equal, co persons theory. Now I do agree with James White on one of the last statements that he said in the video. And that is that the Nicene Council, they were responsible for the development of the language of the trinity. I agree that the, the Nicene Council did not uh, invent the Trinity. It had already started in the second century from those uh, fathers, uh, apostolic and anti-Nicene fathers, who took their ideas from Greek philosophy and Philo of Alexandria, who taught them the Trinity in his writings, of course. Now, this is incredible, but the, I agree with James White that the, the Nicene Council did establish the language used. But here's the problem. James Watt said that the New Testament was soaked with Trinitarian language. And then he says that, no, it was developed uh, during the, uh, the Council of Nicaea. So which one is it? Now, if the members of the Nicene Council knew or believed that the New Testament was soaked with the language uh, of the Trinity, they would have used the scriptures and they would have put those into law. But instead, they did something totally the opposite. What was it? They used Greek philosophy. They took a hold of the teachings 
of Eusebius who took a creed that he had and presented it to the council. Eusebius was a strong follower of Philo of Alexandria. And uh, the, the creed is seeped in philosophical terms and in, 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 in philosophical uh, notions. This is the truth. The Nicene Council took all of this and they put it into law. And now the Council of Nicaea, 325, and then the, the other council that followed in uh, 381, it was established as law. And you could not function in the church unless you believed in the Trinity, and that would make you a member of the Roman Catholic Church. This is the truth of history and the, the, the history of the Trinitarian theology.